why when you walk up and down these streets, you see any of these brothers and sisters, you ask them what's their nationality, they are the Israelites. But guess what they're going to tell you? They're going to say African American. They're going to say I'm black. They're going to say I'm Negro. They're going to say I'm colored. They're going to say I'm a Hispanic. I'm a Mexican. I'm a Latino. I'm a Puerto Rican. You, LB, you hear me? These are the terms that they're going to tell you. Am I right or wrong? But read that part again. But Israel, but the children of Israel, read, does not know. That's why our people walking up and down the street without a, without a, a good conscience of who they, little sister, what's your nationality? You see what I'm saying? They don't know. The children of Israel do not know who they are. In order for you to get into the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again and become converted as a newborn child. What we're doing right now is giving you the first steps. Learning your nationality is the first step of repenting and to becoming of a man of God. You understand that? Read, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people does not consider. So, you, the, uh, you, L, L, V, excuse me, I'm a little bad with names, L, V, so forgive me, all right? All right, L, V, so what does that just say? We're going to read it again, we're going to read it a little slower so you can get the context, all right? The ox knoweth his owner. So, God is comparing, he said the ox. You know what an ox is? An ox is an animal. It's like a bull of some sort, right? Some form of a bull. So, it said an ox know his owner, meaning an ox knows his, his lord, read and the ass his master's crib. So an ass is a jackass. What's another word for jackass? There you go. Jackass is a, a, a donkey. That's a donkey. But it says an ass was a jackass. He know his God. Read. But Israel. But the children of Israel, which you are, read, does not know. That's why when you walk up and down these streets, you see any of these brothers and sisters, you ask them what's their nationality. They are the Israelites. But guess what they're going to tell you? They're going to say African-American. They're going to say I'm black. They're going to say I'm Negro. They're going to say I'm colored. They're going to say I'm a Hispanic. I'm a Mexican. I'm a Latino. I'm a Puerto Rican. You, LB, you hear me? These are the terms that they're going to tell you. Am I right or wrong? But read that part again. But Israel, but the children of Israel, read, does not know. That's why our people walking up and down the street without a, without a, a good conscience of who they, little sister, what's your nationality? You see what I'm saying? They don't know. The children of Israel do not know who they are. Sister in this blue car, sister right here, what's your nationality? You see that? But we just, but you are children, you are Israelite sister. That, you understand that? So you be, listen good. I want you to understand that the Bible is true. It says that Israel, what? But Israel does not know. If the children of Israel don't know, read. My people uh -huh. does not consider. And then God, people don't consider what? That they are the greatest people on the earth. Because God found all the ways of knowledge and gave it to them. That's why when you look, anything you look at, anything you look at, you will see that our people invented it, just about. When you talk about the, um, the stoplights, right? Who invented those? You see these lights? Red, green, uh, yellow, right? Who invented those? A, a brother by the name of who? Garrett A. Morgan. Right? So he was a brother who invented it. That's why God said my people don't consider that they are the greatest people on the earth. All that give me Baruch 4, uh, 3 and 38. Everything you see right now on this earth, bro, we produced it. But what happened through slavery, we could not take hold. We couldn't. The things that we made when we got over here off the slave trade, we couldn't say it was ours. Then who took it? Who took it and said it was there, the things that we created? Because during this time, we created all sorts of things, bro. But when we created it, our slave masters took it and said, it's my creation. You my property, what you create is mine. But let's see what God said about the children of Israel. Read that. The book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 36. He hath found out all the way of knowledge and hath given it unto Jacob, his servant, and to Israel, his beloved. You hear that? So we're going to read it again. We're going to read it slow. Read. He has found out that he is the most, the Christ. That he is, he has found out all the ways of knowledge because Christ invented the earth, right? The heaven, the moon, the stars, and everything. He has found out all the ways, what? 
he have found out all the way of knowledge and have given it unto Jacob. He get he found out all the ways of knowledge and did what? Given it unto Jacob, his servant. Uh -huh. And to Israel. Unto who? Unto Israel. Unto who? And to Israel. So who was the knowledge of God given to? Which is who? Right. So you're listening, but it also called them what? Israel. You see, that's the, God is telling you. This is, who, who wrote this? God himself wrote this, okay? He used men to do it, but they wrote it down from the inspiration of God. And we're giving it to you now, showing you the knowledge, that the power that our people have. God himself have taken all the ways of knowledge and gave it to the blacks and Hispanics, because you are the Israelites. You understand that? Everything you see on the earth movement today, we invented it. But what happened was, like I was going over with UV, what happened was during slavery, when we was inventing those things, they were snatching it from us and, and making it theirs. You understand, my brother? So you be, I want you to understand these things. You have the power to change, bro. That's the purpose of me going over these things. But we starting off with what? The first step, showing you who you are as a, according to the Bible. You are an Israelite, okay? My sister, come forth since you are an Israelite as well. He want you to show the slave ship to the Bible. Okay, bro. What's your name? Hey, stay here, UV. What's your name? Huh? Michael. So did you, did you know slavery was in the Bible? Huh? All right, we're going to get it. Deuteronomy 28. So how do we get over here, Michael? We got our, the bulk of our people got over here on slave ships, correct? Did you know that was prophesied to happen to us? Do Moses? You ever heard of the, you ever heard of Moses, right? You know Moses. Who did he come to deliver? His people. His people, which are the Israelites, right? But we're gonna go. We're gonna read it right now. Get to uh, do the 28 verse. I'm start right here. The book of sorry, 29. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, beside the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. So, Michael, you, you heard that? What did it say? Read it again. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord who? The Lord, the Lord. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord spoke unto who? Commanded Moses. Hey, my brother with the dog, come over here, man. We over, we out here for you, bro. Hey, bro, are you tired of the, you tired of the gun violence that go on in the community, brother? Hey, Michael, listen good. Read. Which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. So this is the covenant that the Lord gave Moses to make with the children of Israel, right? Now, go to verse uh, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Hey, bro, what's your name with the dog? Greg. Hey, Greg, what we doing right now is showing my brother his nationality in the Bible. You understand? Because our people walking around, they think they African American. They think they Jamaican. They think they Haitian. They think they Egyptian. You understand? They think these are the names that they think they are, but according to the Bible, God called you the greatest people on the earth, which are the Israelites. Read. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses saying, the children of Israel it shall come to pass in the future. This was written over two, three, th three thousand years ago. All right, he said, you know what I'm saying? It was written over 3,000 years ago. And Moses said, it shall come to pass in the future. Read. To observe to do all his commandments. If we observe to do all the commandments that God gave us, read. And his statutes. Which, and his statutes, come on. Which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses. And all these what? All these curses. So he said, if you, excuse me, if you don't. Keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. That curse is gonna befall you. Read. I mean, um, what's what is a curse? It's like something bad. Something bad, right? You agree with that? What's your name again? I know Michael and who? Greg. All right, Michael and Greg. So they say all these curses are gonna come on you guys in the future. Read. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And they're gonna overtake you, meaning wherever you go. Read. Verse sixteen. So now we're gonna get into some of the curses. Like we was going over with Michael. How did our people get over here to, over here to the shores of America? 
Huh? Well, you, I'm talking about, what's your name? What, you, are you an American black? I'm Native American. You're Native American. Okay, so, right, your people, we the same people, but the American black was brought over here later. Y'all was already over here, is, you right? The, 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 uh, the Native Americans was already here, right? But the Negro, so to, call, so to speak, or the so-called Negro came over here in 1619 within the transatlantic slave trade, all right? So that's how we got over here. But I'm gonna deal with you too, Mike. But listen, I wanna deal with Mike. I'm gonna deal with you, Greg, but I wanna deal with Mike's question originally. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. The Lord and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. So Egypt, when Moses was delivering the children out of Egypt, what was their condition for the bulk of the time? What were they doing? They were slaves. They was in servitude. That was the condition of the Israelites during that time period with, uh, when Moses delivered them out of the hand of Pharaoh. So now, read it again from the top. And the Lord, and the who? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Uh, so he shall bring you into Egypt. Another word for Egypt is bondage or slavery. So he said, as, I, as he was delivering them, he's telling you, now I'm going to bring you back into slavery. Read. Again. Again, a second time. Come on. With ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. So, when you examine Egypt, when you examine, when you examine the land mass of Egypt, when they when they was going into the, the land of the Canaan and so forth to take it, they didn't need ships to get there. So what happened, what that's talking about is America today. Is how we got over here to the shores of America. He's telling you because how did we get over here? On ships. And what was our condition when we got over here? Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Come on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold. And ye shall be what? Ye shall be sold. So when we got off the slave ships, that Lord, the Lord you just heard about, right? When we got off the slave ships, what happened to us? Nigga, 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 sold. Nigga, 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 sold. Y'all remember that? Look at this right here. Did that That's what it's talking about right here. You see slave ships. Somebody give me the signs. We're going to show you what it's talking about right now. So, so you can understand what God is telling you because... Again, this was written over 3,000 years ago, but this just happened, what, 400 years ago? So he was giving them a, a future prophecy at that time, which is now history, which we got we recorded in the Bible. So it said, read that part again. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold. And ye shall be what? Ye shall be sold. Look at that right there. We were sold as slaves. You understand that? On slave auction, on auction blocks. You understand that? Read. Unto your enemy, no, unto your friends, unto your enemy, no, unto your buddies, unto your enemy, to your, you, you hear what God said? So the people that sold us, what are they? Enemies. They enemies. Do you agree with that? So what's the nation of people that sold us? Caucasian. The Caucasian. You agree with that? All right. So the Caucasian people came and sold us into slavery. God called them your enemies. Is that far fetched? Is that far fetched for the Caucasian man to be our enemy? Look at how he treated us today. To this very day, they still gunning us down. They still making it hard for us. You understand, God? They do this purposely. Systematic oppression, okay? You talk about drugs, for an example. We don't own, we don't own the um the cargo to, we don't own the what what you call that? The distribution. We don't own none of that stuff to get it over here into our lands. Who do you think putting it over here? And who do you think letting it come over here? Your enemy. You understand that? To keep us destroyed. So, but I wanted to show you specifically, Mike, that slave ships was in the Bible and that you are an Israelite, okay? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Greg, this is for you and, this is for you and the Native Americans. Because when y'all was already over here, what happened to y'all? Y'all was into y'all actually went on slave ships as well, but that's not common history. It's more common for the Negro to know about the slave ship because they put it in the movies and they put it over the media. You understand? But Native Americans were sold into slave ships as well. We got the books to prove that. You understand? But I'm gonna go over some history that's more common. Read it again from the top. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation. So the nation, what nation that came against the natives? What nation of people? The Caucasian, what were they called? Spaniards. You understand that? Christopher Columbus and all of, all them guys. 
Ponce de Leon. Uh, what's the name? Some more of them. Hernando, Hernando Cortez. Right? So these guys came over here. Oh, what, Nate, read it again. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From far. They came from a far country. Because Spain is far from here. Read. From the end of the earth. As swift as the eagle flight. And what is the emblem of Spain? Or the Spaniards? What is their symbol? It's an eagle. It's an eagle. It's an eagle. So it says, as swift as the eagle flyeth, showing you what people. God has given you clear description through his Bible on what will happen to the, to the Native Americans in the last days. You understand? Read. So there go, and there goes some, what we got? We got the Greeks, the Roman coin, the eagle, the Spanish, American. So the, the Spaniards descend from the Romans. Look, you see that emblem? The eagle. Or you got Spanish right there next to it. The, the eagle. Those are real coins in Spain right now. God said a nation as swift as the eagle flying. Showing you, giving you good description, which to me, uh, today is the same people. You see, look on the back of a dollar, what you see? Greg, when you look on the back of a dollar, what you see? The eagle, right? The eagle and the pyramid, right? Read, showing you that this is Egypt. The pyramid represents Egypt. To what we are today is a spiritual Egypt, okay? Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. You didn't understand the, the, the you didn't understand the tongue of the Spaniards when y'all when they came over here. Y'all was speaking Hebrew. Y'all you understand? So that's what y'all native that's what the native tongue was. Other Spanish, I mean, of the um, Native Americans. All right. So according to the Bible, what are you, James? Uh, I mean, excuse me, uh, Greg. According to the Bible, who did Moses speak to? Israelites. He was speaking to the Israelites. So that's your nationality, brother. So don't go nowhere. Saying that you are a Native American or an African American, right? You guys are the children of Israel. You understand that? What's a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is Nation is you. It's nation time.